Hello, Nitamin and the uh, school team. Uh, this is a demo for the MYP report card which we have created. So uh, let's just quickly look into the, uh, the every small details. Uh, let us know in case if you have any question and queries, uh, you know, uh, so based on that we can work on that. Well, this is a completely working demo. There are certain things which, uh, you know, we, we can address later, but the mo most most of the main functionalities are working. So this is a edu cloud. This is a test edu cloud, uh, the account which we have logged in. And this is the report card which has been generated. This is MYP report card. Obviously, kindly ignore, ignore this uh, the school logo, school name. Uh, as we have discussed, we're going to get these things as a cover page and then would be another page second page would be like student details and from third page this is going to get start therefore you said ignore the title of the report card but just start looking into uh, the report card from the the table so basically academic table the subjects whatever the subjects you wanted to select you know it will come here and obviously as per the students uh, selection if student is part of chemistry it will come chemistry uh, if part of physics it will come physics otherwise uh, you know it will come to different subjects here is absent so there is no grade awarded and marks everything is there we'll go into the detail of the calculation everything how the grade boundaries and everything will come but yeah this is a dynamic grade boundary dynamic subjects and uh, the table the second report start from here here we got the subjects for each subjects uh, we got this uh, marks this is for I think IB and these ATL skills uh, the skills are there and uh, uh, e every criteria basically criteria A, B, C, D and what is a uh, you know uh, the score for each subject this is for English this is for Hindi obviously we're going to improve this one uh, the basically the title of the subject going to be improved the teacher's name will come automatically okay and uh, so and so forth this is the grade boundary uh, again dynamic grade boundary okay well so this is a report card let's see how we have generated this report card okay so to generate the report card before we get start it's very much clear uh, we have classes so here in the class uh, we have MYP year one and these are the subjects we can select any subject out of this so this report card you know currently here the seven subject here we have more than seven subjects whatever you subject you select will come into the report card well so that's there similarly for subject teachers you know whatever teachers name you gonna provide here so let's say if I clicked on MYP year one whatever teacher name you're going to assign to us uh, let's in chemistry I'm going to assign Hardik so here in report card for chemistry it will come as a Hardik okay well so that's that and now let's go back to the uh, b b uh, you know the other part of the report card is like attendance and exams and the skills so attendance will automatically come from the attendance sections of the website the for MYP one whatever attendance you will take up that will automatically come into the system right the here the attendance are there similarly examinations and uh, formative assessments well now let me directly jump into the report cards so I just go to the exam and clicked on report studio so here at report studio uh, for my report card I think um, MYP report uh, obviously we're going to get different name but I just clicked on start generating report card well so to get start with I just create a new report I select my class MYP one and create a report that's it report is there now just clicked on uh, save button yeah we'll, we'll look into this one two up to the 14 item later on but the base report card is created empty report is created now if I just collect you know the report would be generated a lot of warnings are there okay uh, because obviously the no data are there so this empty report is generated empty table and everything nothing is there okay now let's start generating this report card so for that I will go back to the configuration the first part is the the report name this is the title whatever title I wanted to put. I can I can keep the title so let's say basically uh, let's say I wanted to have a title uh, my first report my first MYP report one okay so whatever title for my reference I can give that report title yes so let's say midterm report or maybe final report I just say final uh, final report uh, in a final term report whatever name uh, title you want you can have that report date let's say you know uh, 30th April 
okay optional logo let's just keep that part and directly go to the subjects so in this report card i just want only one subject that is uh, let's say english and the second subject chemistry just two subjects okay i select exam type right so let's say for this things you know i want uh, myp uh, internal assessment let's say internal exams okay if i wanted to select date range based on term i can select that right now i have english and chemistry two subjects for that there are the two exam which is in a calculated state and that's it let me just have these things uh, and just clicked on um, grid structures let me click on grid structures so i will have this uh, myp uh, core result grid structures okay so and just clicked on update well so what is this myp core result grid structure let's go there so i go to the grading and let me go to the second page myp first page second page yeah myp first page, first page. is there myp core result if i just clicked on edit i can see all the grade uh, names like a star a b c d up to you then lower limit upper limit the way you wanted to change you can change that and there's no descriptions okay well so i think here in a myp general grade we have this grade structures yes it's the general grade name name one two three four five six seven lower limit upper limit and this would be there okay so uh, uh, let's go back to the report card uh, and uh, let's say here uh, we should select uh, myp core or myp general core core okay so it doesn't have the grade structures it will get the grade structure there uh, yes okay let's see anyway i just clicked on update and um, then i will go to the uh, let's say preview report just click there and download the report lot of warning we'll go into the warning in details later on just click to download the report and we got the two subjects english and chemistry and we got the grade boundary yeah so this marks would be calculated and converted into the and the grades so that's there but rest of the report is empty so let's go back uh, obviously you know here we got the final term report card with automatic here right so whatever uh, the you know the title you you give it will automatically populate here i think date is not there otherwise you know we can print the date and something anyway this uh, the title page and everything gonna change so let's just focus on the core part of the report card well so i'll go back to the configuration here and now uh, i'm going to select the the basically summary of achievement skills so i'll select uh, grade uh, subject let's say language literature and i select the skill summary skill parent okay so this skills the green means completed red means in progress and uh, the uh, orange means you know not started so this is in progress observation one is in progress if i just click here i can directly jump there and can do a data entry so for each student for analyzing is a skill you know i'm i'm doing this data entry okay by the way let me look into that for this i just go to the exam and let's say exam uh, result uh, sorry uh, of fa results by fa result by class and i just select um, uh, this is my class uh, maybe list or grid view uh, this is my class let's say myp okay so myp economics biology or maybe english literature it's here these are the summary of skill which has analyzing organizing producing and using language uh, options basically if i click on edit uh, click on modify result i can see all the uh, data entry for this myp uh, english literature the summary skill parent okay so here i can put all the marks okay for analyzing organizing producing text and using language well so this will now the since i have selected that here on the report card this one 1 2 3 4 5 5 if i just save the report uh, uh, just save, click on update and if i select the grade boundary so myp uh, let's say general grade boundary okay because the descriptor are there and just say update and now i go back to the preview report card and just click on pdf well now the warnings are little less and clicked on download the report 
and uh, yes here I can see the the criteria A, criteria B, C and D all the criteria there are achieved level afforded uh, achieved grade and afforded grade no afforded grade is there okay so is there English literature the total grade 1 to 7 is there it's a, it's a, it's a basically summation of all these four and you know uh, the normal formula okay and then these are the summary of grade structures the grades grade boundaries and descriptors so this is absolutely dynamic if you wanted to change this text just go here okay make your text change just click on update and generate the report card and you will get the different grade descriptors or maybe the grade different grade boundaries so that's there let's move ahead so let me go back to the configurations and uh, we'll go to the our next part is uh, interdisciplinary unit skills okay so let me select the subject uh, uh, art or oh, indie okay in interdisciplinary units and then I select the skill and uh, now skills are not that maybe in art I don't know maybe art mathematics. mathematics so let's say mathematics under mathematics yes I have ATL okay summary skill prep uh, is there and ATL skills also there so do, do I want ATL skills no so I just remove the ATL skills and this is the summary skill where I have these criteria A, B, C and D okay so let's see selected ATL skills um, here uh, let's say art okay I select the art okay select the attendance dates so if I have a date range I can select the date range or I can get the term as well so let me select the date range uh, maybe I just select February to till maybe you know this date okay if I want to click on show data I will see you know whether the date data is there yeah data is there signatures now if I select let's say management head here I select principal you know here I say uh, class teacher and maybe coordinator okay I just select the you know the signatures uh, name and let's see uh, what is this uh, here it's a grade level for LRUW okay so do we require to select this right now or no no just keep that part and afforded grade data entry afforded grade grades do you want to add that right now is a uh, okay MYP afforded grade descriptors okay is a descriptor or the data entry with, uh, data entry grade perfect just say update well now I'll go to the uh, the preview of reports and just click here let's see uh, okay so we have error there uh, grid structure I do skill research is not found I think it's not created let's say let me uh, uh, okay so let me change the grid structure then mm, okay so here what one what even we should select this one yes. okay perfect update okay and click to preview report click here download and yes here we go well so two subjects great boundaries here we got the coordinator we got the management heads uh, you know uh, obviously uh, we have do not have kept space here we're gonna change the sp spacing because if get e seven to eight subjects it will right fit here uh, and there would be uh, some gap in between this table and the signatures okay well here is the subject like English literatures and mathematics and the great bound uh, the, the, the criterions are here okay and uh, the summary of grade structures is here okay and this is IUD, uh, IUD grade structures because IUD is a different subject which has uh, some different grade boundaries compared to the normal subjects so both are grade printed and absolutely both are dynamic okay and effort grade structure is different so we select the effort grade so it's come here and now if you notice I think this effort grade is not coming here yet why because data entry is pending so let's go and make a data entry for effort grades so I go to the data entry and here is effort score so if I select effort score for let's say chemistry or English literature let's say here let's say I do one save two save okay three save okay that's it and maybe if I do teachers comment here I can put some comment here I can pick up from the comment repository uh, just select that and it will automatically pick up the student name he's her with that just say uh, select comment and it's done I just say done okay and similarly you know uh, clicked on save data entry uh, let me go to the survey sections I click here again go back to the 
this um, uh, comment repository. This is a comment repository. Here I can create my own comment as well and predefined comment as well. Okay, so that's a comment repository, and just click to save. That's it. And for it created and already done, just click on save data entry. That is, that's it is. And now I go to preview report and click on PDF and click on download. Uh, so here I'll get English and chemistry. And here I did not get the afforded grade in data entry here for English and literature, English and mathematics. I think for mathematics, uh, let's see for what we have done at, uh, data entry. So uh, data entry and let's say mathematics. Okay. And let me for Ajit, let me do this data entry. Okay, just click on save data entry. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. So basically, it's an internal error. Okay, wait a moment. Hmm, need to click on edit my first report to go data entry. Okay, and I go to afforded credit data entry. Mathematics uh, would allow me, uh, or English literature is causing the problem. I don't know. It's there. English literature, Hindi. I don't know. Uh, let me just say mathematics. Okay, just a serial entry. No, there is some error. Just ignore that. Just ignore that. Something is not working here right now. Some programmatical mistake is there. But uh, uh, anyway, let's just skip that part. Directly I go to the preview report. We can fix that. So it's saying that discard. Okay, so let me just refresh. And I go to edit. Go to the preview of the report card. Just click on Ajay. And uh, uh, let me see the report for Ajay. Okay. Well, so here um, I can see the, all the details. Uh, this is the the format will be improved. This will become in a center. A lot of color combination. This is a absolutely demo color, color combinations. We'll have the different color combinations. Uh, we'll add more and more. Uh, you know the bullets and you know the sections to get the you know better outcome of the report card. Yeah. But anyway, this is all our report card which is ready just to give you understanding how to do data entry, how the report card will automatically generate it and how dynamically it will work. So basically this report card, you can just block the report card. Let's say I lock the report card. So if I go next time and just generate the report card, this report card will not generate it. Unblock, it will be unblocked. If I want to send an email, click on email. If you want to publish all, it will publish all as well. And the last but not least is Excel result generation. If I clicked on Excel result, the Excel would be downloaded. And here, here you get the entire data into the Excel. So let's say this is a Excel for English, chemistry, language literatures, and this is a master sheet. Here you get the obtain mark, all those things. In this Excel, we can add more and more data and can do the formatting as well. This is just for the reference purpose. That's it. Feel free to have your question, queries, and uh, uh, maybe, you know, uh, we can keep a session to f discuss on this. We can say the credentials for the school where even you can try something uh, uh, at your end uh, and we will discuss further. Thank you. Thanks for the demo.